Hello community, we have an update of the DeepSeek R1 model and they say, hey, it's almost equivalent to O3 by OpenAI. So here's the solution by OpenAI O3. So let's perform the identical test and let's compare it. Okay, community, so we're here at Open Router. We have a new room and where are we? We have models, yes. Hey, DeepSeek R1 O5 free. Let's take this one. Chat. Okay, so exactly what we want. Okay, activated, add model. No, I don't want to add any model. Strawberry test. <laughs> this is nice. So what we have here. Export, import, clear models, clear chat, share models, auto expand, duplicate room. No, web search. No, we just want to go here with a beautiful instruction here. My wizard. Yeah, here we go. And you know, I have here original clues, 15 original clues. And then I have additional complexity clues, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this is all. And then I say, please present in a clear, organized format the output, like a table. So you are live with me. Here we go. So thank you for Open Router to show us here, or give us here a free opportunity to explore the performance of R1. Reasoning process is up and running, beautiful. Okay, artifacts, familiars, yeah, the clue 15 is processed, beautiful. And since I need to think about scale or order, yeah, clue 9, clue 2, clue 6, clue 7. Okay, what's happening now? Oh, yeah, okay, just a short interrupt. Beautiful, beautiful, we are going. Yes. Dragon artifacts. It is going through each and every assignment. Beautiful. Clue 13, clue 8. Okay. If you want to ask me on which computer infrastructure we are running, I don't know. It is your open router, but don't ask me any details about how they have their free infrastructure. I guess if you pay up here for pro level, you get all the information, but I'm just want to try out here the R105284 for free. So I'm happy whatever I get. I just want to see here the performance. So maybe it is not the absolute speed that you should judge right now here on this free computer infrastructure. I'm just looking here forward for the causal augmentation, for the logic structuring, for the reasoning, for the planning of the thinking, and for the end result. Talking about the end result, suddenly we have another stop. What's happened? Okay, so. So, oh yeah, here we go again. Maybe I'm somehow queued here in the free queue. Ah, okay. Just scroll down, scroll down. Okay, you are live again with me. Okay, every combination is checked. Every combination is evaluated. No, there is a contradiction. Contradiction, so another way back to case, okay? Therefore, yes. No, another way. What is left? How can we solve this? Beautiful. No, this is not the way. Clue 12. Who has Griffin? Yeah, this is the question. Who has Griffin? Now the fields. Similarity. Yeah. Is there a problem? Nice. It is self-reflecting and trying to validate on the run. I love this. Checks here what have I already achieved, what is still open, what is still solvable with the next clue that I'm going to process. Problem, clue 11, 12, 14, 15, yes, yes, okay. I don't think so. <laughs> okay, you don't think so. Okay, here we go. So, yeah, it's still not sure how to distribute this. You are here live with me. Now, two possibilities. First case, second case. We need to assign out a complexity. Yes, beautiful. I assign numbers. Absolutely fine with me. 
You know, I just say moderate high, extreme high. If you want to have numerical values for this, absolutely fine, no problem. Okay, so we have Avalon 1. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, now in terms of community. Moderate, yeah, it's go coming there, you know, step by step, little baby steps in the causal reasoning. Level, Thailand, yes. Ah, it uses internal abbreviation, this is nice. Yeah, it's a little bit logically challenging, of course it's not as easy. So in another case, oh, it start to question its for its own decision. Yeah. Six, seven, yeah. It's moderate, but there's also another possibility. But there's another issue. Yeah, it's it's tricky. Back to the beginning. Oh. Contradiction. We have found a contradiction here in the reasoning. Back to the beginning, okay? First configuration, second configuration. Okay. Clue in the additional statement. Yes, wherever you find your clue, take it, integrate it, be clever. Therefore, the second configuration works. Hey. Okay, assume a scale. Yeah, I don't mind. You go 1 to 7 or 1 to 9 or 10 to 90. Okay, we have some results, but both are possible. Oh, we are still locked in that they are... Yeah, it is not an absolute determined system, you know? I let a single, uh, some beautiful degree of freedom open here. So the system will have to decide if it goes for one of two solutions. Yes. Yeah, it's not simple. It's not easy. I know. It takes quite a long time, I have to tell you. It takes quite a long time. Not a clue, but no, perhaps. Not moderate in both cases. All fine. All fine looks good. What about all fine? Can we continue with all, all fine? Come on. Hey, we have something, but not, not a final version. Sort for 257 seconds. My goodness. My goodness. We are still sinking. We are still sinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a complete table. Wow, life is beautiful. What do you think about this? Step by step. Oh, this was only the reasoning. Now comes the official answer. Okay, here we go. Bold face. Yes, I love it. Okay, okay. Must be Avalon. It will be Avalon, yes. Okay, the artifacts are left, yeah. For the fields, gives us here the reasoning. I ask a particular, give me here the complete reasoning how you decided this. Uh, apply the complexity close to resolve ambiguity, yes. Okay, you assume 1 to 7, whatever, I'm fine with numerical values. Case two, yeah, gives me its internal reasoning. So from a multitude of set of multiple reasoning path, it condensed now to one. Yeah, don't stop. Please don't stop. I know it's a free version, but please don't stop. Don't, don't, don't tell. Yeah, goodness. Don't tell me that you run out of your if 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 context size. Verify the clues. Real nice. Yes, 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 yes. It has an automatic verification. I didn't ask for this. All clues satisfy with unique assignments. Yeah, come on. 
Don't crash now. Don't crash now. Yes, yes, yes. Come on. A little bit more. Yeah. Complexity ratings explained. Yeah, numerical or whatever. It's it's okay. So let's have a look at... No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. So what I want to know now. Yeah. Complexity clues. I want to see here the internal verification. Where have you verify all clues? Here we are. This is so nice. It does an automatic verification. Clue one. Yes. 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 Just want to make sure. Here we have a yes. Yes. Yes, 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 and yes. So internal verification tells us, yeah, all clues satisfied with unique assignment. Now, this would be nice, you know, wouldn't it? Crystal of Time, Enchantment Phoenix, Warren Lewis. So I say, hey, if we exchange here Brindo and Eldoria, the field of magic and the familiar, we just swap here, would it still be a valid solution and check for this alternative configuration? We are still here working here for free, so thank you. Please give me another two minutes here just to check here. Reasoning, yeah? If I swap it, yeah, need to check. Clues. Okay, you go through all the clues, step by step. Beautiful. Stuff not changing, okay. Oh, this was not changing, it's fine. Specific communities, let's list the complexity clues. Yeah, this is the correct way to do it. When we swap it, now for the complexity ratings, it goes through each configuration beautifully. Yes, come on, don't stop now, come on, you can do it. Come on, my little open router, yes, okay. Okay, let's list all wizards with the attributes and the new configuration. Should be no problem, no? What do you think, my little R10528? Yeah, all good. Ah, there might be another problem. Let's check this problem. No issue. No issue. I think it might be valued. All seems satisfied. Now it's just said, hey, but the puzzle should have a unique solution. No. The puzzle can have an internal degree of freedom, so it can have two valid solution, like in this case. Is it able to find, to understand... Good, 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 good. Complexity. Yes, yes, yes. Good, good, good. Yes. All clues seem satisfied. Yeah. All seems fine. So I think the alternative configuration is valid. Yeah, it still doesn't trust itself, no? I think it might be valid, but let's think differently. Wow, another clue. I have to accept it is valid. But then the puzzle might... Ah, okay. Now we are here in the official reply now has to accept that the puzzle has more than one solution, which is correct. So, let's see this. And you might ask yourself, hey, why, why did you do this? Because I will show you then the video here when I tested O3 for the exact same version. And O3 has here this second valid solution. So you will see. We are just here, a permutation of a solution away. So R105-28 has solved the problem here beautifully. Everything is fine. Yeah, and shows that the puzzle has multiple valid solutions concerning the field and family of Brinda and Aldoria, but the core associations for other communities are preserved and consistent. Yes, beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, 
complexity rating. I'm fine if you give it numerical numbers. You don't have to give me here the complexity labels because some were intentionally left on none because, yeah, it's just a logical deduction. No, what is left in this you have then to fit into your logical reasoning. This is beautiful. Now, just to make sure, we can say, so we'd say verify the solution against all clues, go one by one. Real nice, real beautiful. Immediately found one solution. When checked for the alternative solution, it verified the alternative solution. Okay. Holds, 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 holds. Everything green, holds, yes. All clues us. Oh, shouldn't have done this. Sorry, my mistake, my mistake. Hey, we even have little green boxes. Satisfied, 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 and satisfied. 15, yes. And the additional complexity clues. Satisfied, satisfied. Yep, yep. Correct, correct. Satisfied, satisfied. Alternative conclusion is valid. All original clues and complexity constraint are satisfied with Brindo and Eldoria swapped. Final assignment all consistent. Yes, this is the correct solution. Congratulations. R105528, you did it. So let's have a look now at the final result of my extreme logic test, both for DeepSeek R105528 and OpenAI 03. And here you have both results. Here you combine it now and you see it is absolutely identical to the result of OpenAI 03. Not bad for an open source model. Not bad. What do you think? I like this. It is a quite a long reasoning process right at the very beginning. Eh? You noticed how we, how we <laughs> were fighting here for the correct solution. But I kind of love this. Okay. So now you see here on your video, on your real-time recording, how long it took here from here. This was my original first task. So reasoning sort for 260 seconds. If I compare this to O3, I think it was also, I don't remember now perfectly, but I think it was something between two and three minutes. So for this particular task, I have to tell you, absolutely on level with O3 from OpenAI. And this is, you remember, R1 is open source by DeepSeek. I hope you enjoyed this kind of interesting comparison between those videos. If you would like to see more, subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.